Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of CK2 The Game of Thrones Mod. I know it's been a very long time since I uploaded another episode. It's because I've been very busy with school and work, and I've been trying to actually get a solid playthrough in, and I haven't been able to do that, so inevitably lost the... Well, I still have the uh, previous playthrough with the... Uh, I think it was the Lord of Old Stones, House Mud. I still have that playthrough, but I wanted to start this one. We're playing with your boy, Iron King, you're uh, I, bah, I came, came, came and talk. Iron King, you're on a third crow's eye of the Iron Islands. Our favorite character, the most sadistic pirate around, and the most biggest proclaimer of godhood in at least half the world of Earth. They still call this place Earth, don't they? Valyrian still armor added to our treasury, nice. Proof that we actually went to Old Valyria. Let's pick an ambition, of course. Let's go ahead and try to get some dragons. So, um, I think I played this playthrough before, like a long time ago in the beginning. And I think that time I took over the Reach, and that was basically it. I got too old, I think, at that point in that playthrough. And then I kind of forgot what happened in the major events. So, I wanted to play through it again. Since I'm reading through, I should go ahead and just do stuff instead of just talking the whole time. So let's go ahead and just uh, start the clock. But anyway, yeah. It's the sacking of Green Shield Castle. Most brutal. Speaking of that stuff, I'm reading through the books and I'm at the moment where I'm at the chapter where they sack this place, I think. And they're like feasting in the grand halls of either Green Shield Castle or one of the other ones. And it's like pretty sadistic. Anyway, um, should I take some slaves? Of course we did. I mean, they did that in the books. We're just going to follow what Euron would do in his character and probably just, yeah, just see how that goes. And also try to follow what happens in the books. So, of course, I'm going to give, I'm going to make the lords of these green shield uh, castles specific people. Uh, I can't remember. I think I remember like half of them. Green shield castle has fallen. Perhaps I have to claim a salt wife who is, ooh, Rhea. Who is she? Um, sure. Why not? Yeah. Victory. I'm, it's not because I just... Alright, whatever. Siege of Grimstone. <laughs> Wicked Shield Castle. The cycle of South Shield Castle was most brutal. Yep, bring him to camp. There's that siege. And here's King Stannis III declaring that his brother Robert left no true issue of his uh, body through Joffrey and the rest. So, all lies are no. Of course, I should have done. Yeah. Okay, we got her imprisoned. We're having our feast. We took the major castles, but honestly, this place really bores us. Did we actually take this? Okay, we haven't really taken them in title. We just basically took them through conquest, but they're not really legitimately ours until this war is over. So we're gonna try to finish this up. Let's go ahead and just look at the men we have and our vassals, introduce them. Everyone knows who Euron Crow's Eyes is, and hopefully most of you already know the major Lords of the Iron Islands, but we got Geralt, good brother, Raja Karla, Dustin Drum, Balon Tawny, Walden Winch, Aelin Arkwood, Burton Blacktide, Gilbert Farwind, Grimmon Botley, Donner Saltcliffe, and Kragan as our John Man. Of course, all of these are just current people. These guys may die because some of them are pretty old, like Duskin. This dude's like 70. He's a pretty good commander, but I'm not going to have him in my army. That would be pretty ridiculous. Um his age age comes into play i think yeah should that'd be pretty sick crown loyalist at 62 percent we can make that higher over the time and as for our main i guess uh council version of that i don't know what they would counsel yeah it's council eric anvil breaker lord stewart master of larga a new one we'll have that be roderick yeah, I think he actually is. Maybe not. I don't know. He's just with the gang. Everyone's together in the books. They're just like with Euron. Everyone's mobbing with the uh, Iron King, whatever his proclaimed title is. We'll have this guy. We'll have him on standby. Have this guy, John Man, build Zeal back at the pike. And let's actually get this war started. I'm going to lift my men as well as my fleets. Get them on the ships. And then I guess... Uh, We'll head back to our respective lands and just sit it out. Because really, I mean, we could we could defend the Shield Islands. We could, 
But we don't really have a menso. It's not really a practical thing. Even Euron knew that in the books. He was like, yeah. I just, later on, he's like, yeah. I, he tells Victorian, I basically gave the lordship of those castles to the guys that I knew they were going to just basically die. So all his gifts are poisoned. My king, the group of slaves that we have captured in South Shield and were selected to join your personal collection have been delivered to Pike. Who are these guys? Aubrey, Sir Emery, Selene, seems like random Goodman. Okay, Jane. Who are these people? None. We actually don't. Okay. Well, sure. I don't know if the old way actually really took slave. That's put into question, but it's kind of like the extreme old way. And yeah, I wonder if the Reach remembers <laughs> after all this, if, if, if this is even like a thing. Like if we actually like make it through this, it might not. You're on Greyjoy. Yeah, if you're on Greyjoy has had Bone Drinker. What is that? Is that some type of book? My ship's here? Is that all of them? Okay. Oh, have our guys follow suit. I thought I heard something. I'm getting spooked. Have these guys on the ship, then we'll head back to the islands because they're already sending men over there and we'll just take care of them. The young Greyjoy's arrived at court. Really? Okay, stop this. Hold on. Don't go anywhere. We need you. Uh, in prison. Yes. The young is now safely locked away in the dungeon awaiting his fate. Thank you. I just wanted to just snag that opportunity, make sure he doesn't escape. We could throw him in the oblique. We could prison him, torture him. I think he's already been tortured. Right? Crippled. Yeah, he's been. Yeah. yeah he's already been. Yeah. Eunuch. Oof. Malnourished. I'm s oh, I'm not sorry, actually. <laughs> so, I mean, is this what he deserves? Does he deserve even more torture? For those of you that are really interested, uh, let's see, let's just uh, get all these people back at the pipe. And we'll just wait for that. And I guess we should probably show the status of the rest of the place. So, Iron King, led by Tommen. Obviously, oh, who holds this? Lord Lamas of Storm's Inn. I guess he just holds it while Stannis is in the north. And the north is currently supposedly, quote, quotation marks ruled by the Boltons. Jon Snow, Lord Commander, Winter already creeping in. The Vale led by a frail, flailing child, Robert. And the West by Cersei. I can't wait until we get the next book so we can see what's actually going on in the West. Or at least a location of a POV in the West. I want to see what it looks like officially. My prisoner down here goes complaining about a dark cell. Well, what should we do? Hmm, a reasonable request granted. What's going on here? Oh, throw him in the oblique. We're going to start an entire new line of people. Uh, nonsense. Okay. Commanders? Okay. Carly already surrendered, but well, that's good. Who's leading? Red Ralph? Alright. That's okay. But Carly is here. Remember Carly, the guy that wields Heart's Eater or Heart's Bane, I think? That's a pretty delicate sword. Like, delicacy, Heart's Bane. That sword is O F N P. And that's the only reason why he's so important, as well as his great skill in combat and leading men and all that stuff. But anyway. We're just as good. So is Victorian. This is my Bravo talking there. We'll just chase them down until they're done with. They'll be back, but we'll take care of them as long as we uh, hold these shores. We'll be we'll be straight. At least I think. Aaron Glover. Ah, oh. Princess Asa Dar has been released from Lord Paramount stances. Whoa. Now where is she at then? Okay, well, yeah, we, I forgot we married her to Eric Anvil Breaker a couple chapters ago. That's pretty cruel. Imprisoned. Okay. Garwin Glover released again. Oh, well, that's all the minor stuff. Is there any intrigue, like plots going on? Prisoners, we have a lot of them. Well, what's going on here? Exile? Ah, uh, we could, but I don't want to do that. I need him. So they're taking back the Shield Islands now. We'll just let them do that. I don't even think we left them in there. That's 
that's pretty good. Forget that. We'll just get rid of the people that we have here. And so I was thinking, how are we going to get dragons? And how is Euron going to get dragons in the books? Like... A lot of the men were like talking like logically they're like yeah how are we actually gonna get there between all this like seawater and all that shit but um in the books Euron does have magic on his side he can do some blood sacrifices i don't care about people in prison dude another siege well we'll turn these guys around there's probably gonna happen there meanwhile they're probably gonna bring more people here but in the books and in this game we both got we still got the dragon horn that we supposedly probably either got from Valyria or the Warlocks. I'm pretty interested in the lore of this character because it's always like which one type of thing. Where are these guys going? Volmar. These guys are elusive as F. But this uh, proclaimed major theory is that he got it from the Warlocks. I haven't seen evidence of that yet because I'm still like through the reread. But yeah. The only thing we can do in the game, which I think we probably could, should, that'd be sick, is probably, the master whispers, Alvin Sharp has expressed desire to get married, alright, well, go ahead, Sansa Stark has been found, and she has now been revealed by Lord Peter Baelish, no doubt has ambitions for the north, well, well good luck with that, sir, what is this? enemy comes approaching inside circling the castle what shall we do oh oh okay um shit she i mean it's a, it's a japanese letter she i think we're just gonna i don't know i need more music My king and enemy host over here. The castle is impregnable. We'll just wait. We'll just actually wrap around and smack them. Damn, they might actually siege that place. Ah, oh, this isn't good. Where are they going? What's going on here? So the rival Prince Leon has died, and now it falls you to decide whether we will just throw them in the seawater and then. Gonna, he's gonna feast and drown Black Walker in his anyway. I'm kidding around and expressing consternation the fact that Ralph and Julie's command of your armies when someone of higher status or well, who is this? Oh, that's the dude. You surrender like every time you suck. You're old. You're doing fine. You can rest assured. Brother. Okay. Well, I thought that would, um. Thought my people would actually like me more. Well, I can just uh, bribe them. Because the Iron Islands is pretty poor, and we're actually filthy rich compared to the rest of the people on the continent, even major uh, families like the North, Westerlands probably, and even the Reach. Those are the two major financial, uh, you know, rich people or like houses or kingdoms. And then there's the Bank of Bravos. <laughs> so I'll just send these guys another gift. That's a lot of money, but it's enough to keep these guys okay. The morale high. My more money in my pocket, kind of. What about our councilmen? We need to keep them busy. I mean, probably need to get some people married if we want to keep some people around. I'll check out my commanders and everything. I forgot to check the minor titles, but we can go ahead and set a designated region. I'll make it Roger the Reader. Probably should have did this in the beginning. I really oofed. Uh, cupbearer. Who should it be? Probably someone for humiliation. That'd be pretty funny. Uh, we'll just make it Ralph. Hi, Admiral. Uh, Tom? Champion? That's only a name, so I'll make it Duskin. Master of Blade, Gerald, Master of Bow, don't care, so we'll just make it uh, this guy. Commanders, this is where it's at. Ralph the Limper, you're going out for good, but Asha? Uh, sure, let's go ahead and do that. 
I actually want to probably want to get rid of her. Who else can we can put in? Not Duskin. <laughs> we need more people. We need more commanders. This sucks. I guess this is gonna have to do. Yeah. So we got a Crown Loyalist faction and a lower Crown Authority. That's not good. I like the authority where it is, sir. I'm already seen as a tyrant, though. Let's get this battle over with, then. Now we're headed to the pike. 12,000 Richmond again. No. Yeah, yeah. 12,000. Jeez. They're just dumping more people here. Hey, look at that, it's Lord Paramount Mace himself. If he dies in this, I think pretty sweet. This forest is actually going to break me in our favor because of this tactic. This campaign has been easy picking. Swinging my sword over the plains is pleasure at my fellow soldiers or equally joyful kind of crap. <laughs> Equally joy wait what? Joy Beals surrounded by the blood of our Reachman's enemies and the cries of battle. Okay, so yeah, I forgot the Reachman and the Iron Islands go way back. Look. Oh wait, now someone else saying, Look! Enemy commander, Lucian is hiding. Someone suddenly shouts pointing off in the distance. Uh, where should I go? Should I go? Who is this guy? This is a hedge knight. I don't care about him. Oh, is that is this Mace? Here he is. You were separated from the man that castle down. Now you find yourself in the midst of war. As you scan the field and try to rejoin the forces, you see the little Paramount Mace. Well, he's gonna break, obviously. Oh shit! What did you just? I mean, yeah. Oh she. The raging scene around you seems to slow down as you scan it for any signs. I just imagine just Mace Tyrell. He's fat, dude. He's just on his like pelfry or whatever, fucking destry or whatever you wanna. I don't know which one it is, but like, he's really fat. So like, imagine him in armor. Against Yaron Crozai, he has like a Kraken helm with a good foot crown. One mistake is all he'll get. Yeah. The duel proceeds in what seems like a slow motion to you, your mind working adequately to anticipate Lord Paramount Mace's mood after a deft parry. Oh, I, I wish you, yeah, very slow motion to guess his moves. Spot an opportunity for yourself to strike. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Use it, but if you him, let's actually see his stats. It's actually pretty terrible. Well, it's all over for him. Lord Paramount Mace drops his short sword and hastily retreats. Oh. Uh, no, not really. Oh, we actually killed him ourselves in the duel. That's actually even better than I thought. You wipe your blood with his dagger. And if he's done, he is dead. As Lord Paramount Mace falls before you, his soldiers look on and begin to lose hope. Now is our chance. Well then. There we go. I guess we'll just wait for these guys to get over here. They're going to Walmart, but I guess we're just gonna stay there. That's where they're relocating. That's a pretty big morale boost for our people. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be like, yeah, we got this. What is this? I leave these pieces with you. Would you like to back our pot to replace the Victorian's captain in the fleet? Ah, uh, no. I actually like him where he is right now. Ooh, Pirate 3. No, it's Chief Warlock. Yeah, Pirate 3. What should we do with him? Is X pretty valuable? I don't want to let him leave. He's actually... We already tortured him. We maimed him. You know? We already got most of his secrets, because... That's who we are. So what else should we do? We'll probably torture, right? Ransom? Release from prison? We'll just do torture. Of course, that means... What else can we do? Very good. That'll teach him. Yeah. Theocracy or loss. It's time for me to choose how I want to educate my son, Lord Pike. Uh, is that his name? Yeah, bastard, some more. Well, I don't know. I guess for command, uh, just the essentials. It doesn't really matter for me. I really, that's, his, that's the most Yaron would ever do for him, for a child like that, to be honest. It's only me being courteous. Erica Netley is now of legal age. Who is that? Being tutored where? Unnetly. 
craven, slothful, selfish, authoritative, eh. Well then, let's just finish up what we've got here. So now, we're going against his heir and first son, Lord Paramount Wallace. I think he is, yeah, the crippled one. Also a knight for some reason, and refuses to marry, so he doesn't have an heir. That's interesting, I didn't even know that. Holy crap, so if he dies, he's not going to be in battle because he's crippled. And only when he dies if we storm the castle, which is that's a doubt. So he's going to mistake there, he's not going to have any heir. So when he dies, he's definitely going to go to Lord Gallant of Galant, which is well enabled, very strong, very OP type of person. So. Lots of cousins, so Tyros are. It's not really. I'm not really worried about them. They're just gonna be minor lords. I don't know why I'm talking about them like that. Anyway, what is going on here? Oh, another. Okay, I can't stop thinking of all of those prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them, to hear the sweet screams, to see the panic in their eyes. Guards, oil up the rack. <laughs> Who we have here, Rosemond? I am sorry, the Lord, uh, Lady Rosemond, uh, Lordship of Oakenshield, it seems, in prison. Lunatic. Wow, she's gone insane. An aggressive leader. She's actually pretty crazy. Okay. Married to Hewitt. Who is? Is he like he's still at his place, right? Okay. Oakenshield. Okay, that was where they were in the books, I think, in the castle. Wow, we have his ladies. We're just gonna put her on the racks then. 75% chance of make Roseman suffer. I don't know what the rest was. <laughs> Who are we doing next here? So, Ballyard, no cross, and Lord. Ooh, wait. Yeah, Lord there is second. Pretty minor lords. Let's uh, keep. We wanna smack all these people so. We won't consolidate when they bring more people here. Tarl, the thrice drowned, has arrived at the court. Okay. The thrice drowned. Well, we might actually need him. He is a drowned man. Do we have anyone better? No. Actually, the one we have right now is pretty good. The Courtier Ralph Stonehouse has expressed his desire to get married. We'll marry as you please. Go ahead and take this army of 6,700. Rickon Stark, okay, was well, long thought to have been murdered by Theon Greyjoy, but Stannis Baratheon and Lord Manderley, so that plot became successful, and the claim to have been found him, rescued by the smuggler Davo Seaworth, which was allegedly beheaded and his head mounted on the spikes of the Manderley's wall. They now name him Lord of Winterfell. So that's some big plot, big brain going on. He must be an imposter or interesting. Recon Stark. In White Arbor. Are they gonna press this claim? If not, I think I might, dude. That'd be sick. I want him. Kidnap, uh, sign guardian. Uh, I'm all for it, dude. I am all for it. They're going against the bolts. Oh, the it's the North Remembers see, uh, scenario. Holy crap. Everyone's going against Roose Bolton. He's going against Stannis. Who's Stannis going against? A lot of people. Aegon, who's already here at um, the Stormlands. Roose, Kingdom. Is that the Stepstones? It is. And the White Walkers. This guy just fucking mad at the world. With 8,000 men to his name, I applaud him. I should play as Stannis more often. I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna go to war with everyone playing as Stannis and win every single one. What a playthrough that would be. It's still awesome playthrough to play on this channel. So, so Russell William has returned from the Battle of Iron Bolt alive, but has suffered a very gruesome, horrific injury. Let's check it out. Maimed and severely injured. Dang. Well, negative 100. Oof. 
Oh, man. It is a scratch. We're gonna need to leave on our ships now. Victorian Greenjoy is now known as the Star of Ireland. And he has a friend, Mormon Brown Tooth. Get on the ship, guys. We're gonna go raid some lands in the Reach area. I haven't seen his strength, but we're just gonna go into it. A lot of the power. They owe only 15,000 to their name. They are royally in debt, as well as prestige debt and piety debt. We can't really use anything to their favor to gain more men, so we have the numbers, star side. this. My liege, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We would like you to back our plot to replace. Uh, nah, I know that's a big plot and everything, but let's actually see what plots are actually going on. I haven't really placed my Master of Whispers anywhere. I could place some to build a spy network or something. Yeah, and I think I love that. I don't see anything interesting. Three slaves in your camps, no way. Chug version, ships, hit you that. No plots, eh. All my people here love me thanks to the king's boot and all that snaz. Everything I did. Your on Greyjoy is an OG savage, terrible person. Yeah, a very terrible person, by the way. What is he gonna do? Let's probably speed up the time. So we landed here at Mandiford, and we're just gonna siege this place right now. Sees everything up the coast, actually. I mean, it's obviously it's just... Like, where else do we go? High Garden? I think not. Level 13, not even possible. So, I think Westbrook. Have our ships docked here in case anything crazy goes on. Speed. Does anyone want to get more money? My prisoner Rhea is complaining about well. Isn't that funny? Ralph has been proved worthy to be called Ironborn as he has captured wait. Yasilla. As a okay, well sure, nice. Neat. Where should we go next? Catswood? Yeah. Why not? Level 5 castle, we can take it in my every days. Lord Dennis of Old Wick has inherited. Okay, so the, the oh, 70 year old Duskin died. How many days for the next one? We can do that instantly. Oh, and he has one more place. We'll just go here. Let's check him out. Alright, he likes us a little bit. Short reign, medium realm authority. Leech is a tyrant. Uh, Leech is cruel. Leech is arbitrary, cruel, ruthless. That's. Oh, yeah, we will. Yeah. Your wrath, paranoid, cruel, lustful, incompetent commander, great. Yeah, I wouldn't want you leading. Are you? Thank God you're not one of my commanders. Well, we'll give you. Just because that's how we are. We're rich. And we can make people like us with money. Because the Iron Men are quite simple, to be honest with you. It's a level 6 castle. Pretty simple. Throw money in their face, women. They'll follow you. The sacking of Land's Bane was most brutal. Wow, I can tell by how many days it took. Uh, with many prisoners being taken, in fact, we have so many prisoners we could well take some of them back to Pika's slaves. Alright, right. Ralph has proved himself worthy. Good job, Ralph. 29 years old. Brilliant commander. Nice. You got his own coat of arms? Stonehouse, is it? Well, I'll make sure to reward you. I think that's one of the guys you aren't just after over for no reason. <laughs> my king, the group of slaves that we captured. Oh, yeah, go ahead. My liege, peace with you. Uh, what is this? To kill Red Ralph? Why? No. What the heck? 
Tanya Vero has arrived at court as a prisoner. We've got 100%, so we can go ahead and end this war and force our demands. Now we have the entirety of our reach, including all of its incomes, assets, and lower titles in our control. Sorry, I had a burp. So, what should we do with this entire territory? Because these guys now pretty, pretty much hate us. We still have some stats and stuff. We got a lot of titles. We need to help these guys out. First, I'm going to dish out some small titles to some pe random people, I guess. Wrong type of holding a demands. Demands too big. Yeah, we just need to dish out some titles to people. So, let's go ahead and just... Uh, who are the people that were... Let's go ahead and pick the... Let's go ahead and get these guys. Actually... Yeah. Right here... go all right now over here let's go and reward some people that we personally know that are in that been with us for a long time that i know have been rewarded in the books so red ralph one of them for starters we'll go ahead and give him a title for his brilliant service we'll give him one of the shields where is it do we not have those anymore oh, i guess not well this is what we got I'll give Westbrook to him then. Who else? Dorian, Prince Asha, Brown Tooth. We'll give something to Brown Tooth because Brown Tooth is friends with Victorian, and we want to uh, separate that friendship. We don't. I, don't, I really don't like that. I don't like Victorian making friends with people, to be honest. So we want them close to us. Title of Catswood, maybe? Yeah, there you go. Alright, who else? Bloodless Tom, Black Shepherd, Left Hand Lucas, Red Ralph. Seems like most some of the our own people that's good enough because we still have some other things we should dish out. We should probably want to help and try to befriend some people of the Reach that can actually help us in our campaign to getting dragons. So, one of those people I personally want and is Randall Tarly for sure. We're gonna go ahead and just give him something to make to just you know show our hospitality to him. Grant him a lordship. Lordship of Manderford. There you go. I should have included uh, lower incomes and shit. And the city of Nettlemont, yeah. Let a couple days go by. Well, what happened there? Vacillation. Actually, I got another idea. Here's what we're gonna do, right? I'm gonna give the reach to Randall Tarley. But I need to dish out some of these. Because, and the only reason I'm doing this is because I think it would actually help the opinion of everyone. That's my, that is my vassal personally. So what do we have next? Can't shield. Let's look at people that are actually in our court. Roger the reader. All right. Let's actually pick some commanders that we like. Victorian's good, but we don't want to give him anything, to be honest. Red Ralph already gave him something. Anyone better? We do have Randall Tarp. Who else? Harris, Lord of Brayshield, a Harlaw? Okay. Yeah, put him in. He's a Harlaw, is he? to her. Okay, so he has that area. Well, then, he already has his own place and house and castle. I'll just let him have that. Now it's starting to get a little bit more confusing, but we can keep going. Okay. I actually know one other person I would want. <coughs> I don't have the runner. I was coughing. 
Who is it again? I think it was our niece. Yeah, Asha Greyjoy. She is... I heard lover was Carl the Maid, which we have arrested day. He's gonna be on the rack one day. Well, then who else should we give things to? What about the high tower? Let's we'll do that. Um, Smallwood. There you go. And these guys. Carly will get to reach. Right? There you go. Now we'll just let a couple days go by. Some of you can are not happy. Oh, yeah, Victoria. Well, I don't care. Pretty sure when all those lords got their news, they were like, holy crap. I'm a lordship. So being on the opposite side. 7,000 men left. That's pretty nice. You can use them. 67,000 men. Holy crap, how? Okay, well, yeah. It worked. The opinion thing. Except for the Lord of Voldemort. Who is this guy? New guy? Wise guy? There you go, guy. What else do you like? What about land? Oh, can't give that away. I guess all I have left is Pike. Which, when I get Westeros, I'll give to Victorian. Like... Like you said, he actually did promise that in the books. But I don't think he, I think he actually didn't mean that. He meant it, but he didn't. Because all of his gifts are actually poison, and that's just going to be bad. What is the White Harbor doing? Oh yeah, they're going against the Boltons. Against everyone else. Well, what is it in favor for? 18% in favor of Lord Paramount, Stannis of the Stormlands. Because he has the entire North with him now. That's pretty sick. Stannis is going to be a continued character throughout this playthrough. So I think, what time are we at? Well, we actually did take the reach, so I'm going to end this episode here. So if you guys liked, go ahead and like, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.